I'm a farmer's wife in a family farm and my son is at home working. He's been to some of the demonstrations, he's been out to lots of different places and I thought it was my turn to come today but he was busy. It's been a very tough year with the weather and the price cuts. Um, really tough and we don't know what the future is do we? But some of them are moving, some of them aren't but it's got to be across the board for everybody. Wet weather's been a major problem because it's meant that we've had to be bringing the cattle in and feeding them and then you're adding to the feed costs which again adds to your cost of production at this time of year. The cattle should be out, they went out in March, we had that lovely spell of weather, they had to come back in again because the fields just couldn't, they couldn't just have it carry on there. Um, and, you know, and that's crazy, you know, buying in feed in June, July at the same sort of price you are for the winter and that, all that's the cost of production, the feed costs have gone sky what we really need to highlight is that the discrepancy in the, in the retail chain about the amount of profit margin which is getting down to the producer. The producer has been squeezed at the bottom, the process has been squeezed and there's this huge chunk of the profit margin which has gravitated up to the retail end and we want that distributed more even across the, across the, um, the retail chain. Some of the, uh, the likes of Asda and one of the others are beginning to realise that and are giving a slightly better price than they were. We're still trying to do four pints per pound. Are you feeling it's not sustainable? Farms are not receiving the cost of production and it's going to have a major impact on both farmers' livelihoods and right across the, the farming business. And um, we just, um, I think as well, what we want to highlight as well is not just that the, you know, some of the retailers are beginning to move their price up and that's fantastic, but there's only a very small section of the industry supplying into the retail chain and what we need to see is a fairer cost of production across the whole sector buying the cheese producers, the liquid milk producers and all the other products that come out of our milk, the yogurts, the skim milk powder, the butters, all these other products we need to see a fair price for all the producers selling into them. We just want a fair, fair living and a fair price and we've just been ripped off and we can't carry on as we are. Okay. And I just want to thank the public for what they've done. And the supermarkets that have moved, but we want a little bit more. And the dairies to help us as well. Farms have increased their efficiencies fantastically, and, um, but it's only fair that we get a fair price for the milk they're producing.